for fuck's sake, we're supposed to be skeptics here, y'all. And, and I get that most of you are. I'm, I'm talking to a minority when I say this, but get your shit together, okay? Like, okay, so on Facebook, I, I've got like six or seven family members and 3,000 listeners. And ever since I announced that I was going to quit smoking, I've been getting a ton of advice via that medium. And most of it's been really good, really supportive, really reasonable, etc. But a disturbingly large amount of it has been the kind of shit that a skeptic should be ashamed of. Now, I'm not talking about people recommending herbal supplements or that I align my chakras. Even a bad skeptic knows better than that. But some of the advice I'm getting is every bit is misinformed and dangerous. Let me give you a quick example. This is the exact advice that I've gotten from more than a dozen people at this point. The best way to quit smoking is cold turkey. Now, it wouldn't take you a hell of a lot of research to disprove that. It's literally the worst method that scientists bother to test. Like, there are worse methods, like, you know, smoking more cigarettes and shit. But of all the ones they decide are common enough to bother testing, that's the worst one. It consistently ranks as the least effective way to quit smoking in every single scientific study that I have ever seen. Using nicotine replacement therapy like a patch or gum or whatever or using some non-nicotine pharmaceutical isn't the magic wand. But from the numbers I've seen, it increases the likelihood of success by somewhere between 50 and 70 percent. That's fucking huge. I mean, look, the total number of people who successfully quit is still super low because the baseline rate of success is lower than 10 percent. Right. Fewer than one in 10 people who make a serious effort to quit by their own definition of serious actually succeed at it. So if the numbers for people using the patch are like, you know, one in eight, that's still a really low overall success rate. That still means that most of the people you know who use a nicotine patch aren't going to quit. But luckily for us, we don't have to rely on people we know. We have fucking data. On this one, we have mountains of meticulous data. All we have to do is avail ourselves of it before we go shouting out medical advice to people online. And that's what we're talking about here, people. This is medical advice. I, I, I don't mean to be the preachy non-smoker guy less than a week off my last cigarette, but cigarettes are literally the leading cause of preventable death in this country. Quitting them, as I understand it, greatly reduces risks to my health. I'm sure I read that somewhere. And giving bad advice. So, yeah, Morgan, you know what this, what this is like, what this quits and spit and smoking thing is like, don't you? We've been here done this answer you know i i mean i get that there are some things that you just you hear so often you maybe assume that they're right you don't bother to check sometimes you hear something and you can't remember where you heard it and you mistake a bad source for a good one and sometimes it's just something that's you know hard to google like one quick google search doesn't really hash it out but this is literally one of the easiest data points to find on the entire internet it is absolutely untrue that cold turkey is the best way to give up nicotine. And yet when I tell people, yeah, I'm going to use a patch on the recommendation of my doctor who examined me and has an advanced degree in knowing this shit, multiple people chime in to give me a counterpoint based on their rigorous research into what Uncle Ted told them. Look, skepticism isn't just about telling other motherfuckers they're wrong. Hell, it shouldn't even mostly be about that. The point is to be right. And being right isn't a matter of memorizing all the facts. It's about mastering a process. It's about finding and following the best procedure for sussing out truth from bullshit. And preferably, that's a process we apply before we give medical advice to strangers. Right. And I, and I know that the people who reached out incorrectly did it with the same love and compassion as the people who reached out correctly. I, I, I get that. And I don't mean to shit all over them or anything. I'm flattered that you care enough about me to share what you know or even what you think you know. But God damn it, this is our whole thing. We're the rationalists. Right. I mean, if we're not going to be rational, nobody is. And we have to hold ourselves and one another to at least as high a standard as we're holding natural green mommy to. And for our own health, maybe we don't make easy targets for post smoker Noah's rage while we're at it. <sighs> All right, so apologies for making the whole first seven minutes of the show about how I can't have a fucking cigarette. But you're the motherfuckers that donated all that money to Modest Needs to make this happen. This is your fucking fault. 
right? I'm pretty sure those needy families would have been pretty stoked about $99,997.50 fucking cents. But no, you motherfuckers had to blow past the goal like it was in reverse. This is your fault. You deserve this. In fact, I'm taking back the apology. This diatribe was almost just me yelling fuck as long as I could hold to you. And you're lucky you got sentences at all.